Hello, Sunday School families. We are so happy that you're joining us for this year's virtual Good Friday retreat. We wish that we could all be together and we pray that you're safe and doing well. This year, it will be a little bit different than our normal day together in the church. We have created six short videos, as well as some provided some scriptures and some discussion topics for you to review at your home. But know that while you're at home today and not at our church, all of your beautiful Sunday School friends are also participating in doing this together with you. So even though we're not together, we're together in our hearts. We miss seeing you and we pray that we'll see you again shortly. Today, Mrs. Vicki, Mrs. Maria and I have created the videos and we'll start with video number one, which is the service of the bridegroom. Let's get started. God has made us stewards of his world to serve and care for it. He calls us to sow the seeds by using our talents that he has given us. Christ will come to judge the world and he will come when we least expect him. He will come as a bridegroom to take us, the church, as his bride. God calls us to be prepared for only those that are ready will enter into his kingdom. This is the icon of the bridegroom. In the icon, Christ is the bridegroom and the church is his bride. He is dressed in torn robes with a crown of thorns instead of fancy clothes as a bridegroom would be. This icon is also called the icon of extreme humility because Christ was God, but he allowed himself to die for us. This icon is used in all three services for the next three nights with parables. On Palm Sunday night, the noble Joseph. On Holy Monday, the fig tree without the fruit. And on Holy Tuesday, the 10 maidens. Today, our focus will be on the 10 maidens. The parable is told with a traditional Jewish wedding in mind. The arrival of the bridegroom was always a surprise at the Jewish wedding, and the bridal party, which consisted of maidens, had to always be ready to take the bridegroom to his bride to start the marriage feast. In order to always be ready, the bridegroom and the maidens had to plan ahead for his arrival. On this particular day, the bridegroom came extremely late. The maidens had fallen asleep, and when they awoke to hear the shouts of the bridegroom is coming, only five of them had brought enough oil to keep their lanterns lit to guide him to the wedding feast. The five maidens that were prepared would not give the other maidens any of their oil. They were the wise maidens. When the bridegroom arrived and the five without the oil had gone to buy more, they did not get to light the way for the bridegroom to the feast. They were left out. They were foolish maidens. These wise, the five wise maidens led the bridegroom to the wedding and the door was closed behind them. When the other maidens returned, they were not led into the marriage feast. The door was locked and they were not prepared, neither for the day nor for the hour when the bridegroom was to come. Who is the bridegroom in this parable? Jesus. What feast are they waiting for? The kingdom of heaven. Five maidens were wise because they were prepared. They were able to make good decisions by bringing plenty of oil, and they were ready to receive Jesus when he came. But five were foolish. They didn't make wise decisions. In this case, they didn't bring enough oil. And so they were not able to participate in the feast. What does the oil in the, in the lantern symbolize? Our light is to shine. Our talents are our good works helping needy, having compassion, acting with love, faith, and prayer. Oil is the light, light is faith, faith is prayer, and prayer is patience. Can you give someone your gifts? Because your gifts are from God. 
What can we do to be prepared? We can follow Christ now, not wait for some time in the future. We can seek out the will of God. We can go to church and we can read the Bible. We can hold on to his teachings and his commandments. We can use our talents in anticipation of meeting him. And we can invite Jesus to be in our hearts. God wants us to be prepared. When we do what, what God wants and we are prepared, God will reward us. When we waste our talents and we don't follow God, we will miss out on the gifts he has to give us. Thank you.